In this video, I will very quickly and efficiently habituate you to the new Midland X Talker Jeep flavored two way radio pack. And for those of you that do not own a Jeep, Midland also makes a non Jeep vanilla flavored version of this radio pack. This will not be a full review because full reviews are long and boring. So consider this an overview to help you decide if these radios are right for you and your radio lifestyle. The price for the Midland Jeep flavored X Talker radio pack is $135 and the plain vanilla flavored non Jeep pack is $125. Affiliate link below. Now I am fully aware that some people are probably already straining their sticky fingers in an attempt to leave a comment scoffing at a price tag of over $100. Some people will do this not only because they're embarrassed that they can't afford a price tag like that and they're just acting out so that they can feel better about themselves and their poor life choices, but leaving comments like this will also allow them to express their inner ignorance. And yes, Midland did send me these radios at no charge so that I could share them with you, my favorite viewer. When you purchase the Midland X Talker Walkie Talkie Radio Pack, you will receive This ruggedly handsome and manly carry case, either with or without the officially licensed Jeep logo, depending on which flavor you choose. You will receive a user manual, which goes over all of the operation of the radios. You will receive a USA to USB mini or micro, whatever that's called, USB charging cable. You will receive two earpiece microphone booms for attaching to your face and head or hands-free adventure communication. You will receive a USB charger, which plugs into the previously mentioned cable. The other end plugs into the holes in your walls for charging the radios. You will receive a 12 volt automobile plug, also for connecting to the charging cable and charging the radios. The other end goes into that 12 volt cigarette lighter hole in your automobile. You will receive a charging cradle, which will hold both radios. One end plugs into the previously mentioned charging cable. The other end you plug in either to the wall outlet or your automobile outlet. You will receive two belt clips for attaching the radios to your belt, thereby impressing the chicks. You will receive two battery packs. These are rechargeable battery packs. And you will receive two Midland Jeep flavored or non Jeep flavored, depending on which one you purchase, X Talker radios. As you can see, these are simple radios. They have a small non-detachable antenna, on-off switch and volume control, a monitor and scan button, 
a menu button for accessing the menu features, a call button, which can be used to send a calling tone to other radios, and a channel up and channel down button. On the side, you have a push to talk button, a USB plug for charging. You can charge the radios either directly with the included USB cable or using the previously mentioned charging cradle. And on this side, you have plugs for the microphone earpiece combo. The radio does have a Vox option. So when using the earpiece connected to your head, you can enjoy fully hands-free communications, should you choose. One nice thing that I noticed right away about this radio, to change the channels, you have, oh, oh, I almost forgot. Oh, sorry. It's never happened like that before. I just let, let's try that again in 15 or 20 minutes. As I was saying, in order to change the channel, you must first press the menu button and then press the up or down button. This helps to prevent butt dialing or accidentally changing the channels when you are outdoors vigorously adventuring. These are FRS radios, so if you are a fully outed radio dork and you want to use repeaters or listen to ham radio frequencies or do other fancy radio dork stuff, then these radios are not for you. If, however, you actually have a life and actually leave the couch to go adventuring, then this type of a small and lightweight radio is perfect. By the way, allow me to drift off topic for just a moment, if I may. Many people have left comments on my recent videos asking if I was ever a hand model because they thought they had recognized my hands from several TV commercials. And although I do not like to talk about it, yes, indeed, I was a hand model. However, my career came to an abrupt end because of these career ending scars, which resulted from my botched hand reduction surgery. Anyway, they say that when Xenu closes one door, he opens a window. And it was this tragedy that allowed me to begin pursuing my true passion. As previously mentioned, these are known as FRS radios, which to the FCC means Family Radio Service. They are low power radios and they are not repeater capable and they are primarily intended to communicate with other people in your nearby adventuring group. Those fellow adventurers might be using other X-Talker Midland radios, FRS radios from any other company, or any GMRS radio. Allow me to say that again so that there is no confoculation. These radios, indeed all FRS radios, are compatible and can talk with any other FRS or GMRS radio. And just to prevent or remove any other potential lingering confoculation, you do not need a license to use these radios, even though these radios can and do transmit on the same frequencies as GMRS radios. No license is needed to transmit on these radios. Even if you are talking to someone that is using a GMRS radio, and even if that person has a license, and even if that person is showing off by announcing their call sign when they talk, no license is needed to talk to them if you are using one of these radios. As I mentioned previously, these are FRS type radios, which means they are low power, and some people often refer to these as toys. And some people will no doubt proclaim that if you want to talk any real fars, you need a real radio. So just for fun, I decided to see if I could talk with my friend Chris at his house 10 miles away using one of these radios. And surprisingly, my friend Chris was able to hear me when I was transmitting on this radio. He was able to hear me from his handheld GMRS radio, and we were able to talk. Chris, how do I sound from 10 miles away on this 
Midland X Talker Walkie Talkie Radio. One, two, three, four, five. Now it is important to point out that Chris and I have very good line of sight between my house and his house, meaning that there is nothing between his house and my house to block our signals. In other words, your fars will vary. If you have a mountain or a forest of trees or even just a bunch of houses full of fat people between you and the other radio that you are trying to talk with, you will experience much less fars. But the point is, these radios are very capable and perfect to use for off-roading, skydiving, hiking, or walking around the county fair with your family. And if one of those experts ever tries to convince you that these are just toys, just ignore them. As previously mentioned, these are FRS radios, so they can transmit and receive on all 22 GMRS channels. GMRS channels and FRS channels and frequencies are the same, but these radios can also monitor the NOAA weather channels and receive NOAA weather alerts. And like most other FRS and GMRS radios, these radios do support privacy tones or codes, sometimes also called subchannels. However, unlike many of this type of radio, there are no tones or codes enabled out of the box on any of the standard 22 channels, which means that right out of the box, you can easily talk with any other GMRS or FRS radio, just put them on the same channel, push the button on the side, and talk. In addition to the standard 22 GMRS and FRS channels, these radios do have an extra 14 pre-programmed channels. Channels 23 through 36, these are just standard FRS and GMRS channels with preset CTCS or privacy type tones, so that using those channels you can talk to the other radio or any other GMRS or FRS radio that is configured to use those same tones. And when using those channels with those tones, you will not be bothered by hearing other people that might be talking on that same channel. Those other people will still hear you, but you will not hear them. You can also use any one of these standard 22 channels with a CTCS or DCS tone, and that will block other people so that you don't hear them cluttering up the channel. And yes, most importantly, these radios do have a Roger beep. And it is not one of those plain, ugly Roger Beeps. It is one of those cool-sounding Roger Beeps. So should you buy the Midland X-Talker T77 Jeep-flavored or non-Jeep-flavored walkie-talkie pack? If you are an advanced radio snob and you want to talk on repeaters or talk to strangers all around the world from your couch while stuffing Cheetos into your face, then no, these radios are not. For you. If, however, you are an adventurer and you want to stay in touch with and talk to other adventurers in your group that are nearby with a lightweight and easy to use radio, then yeah, these radios might be the radios for you.